Who is the Antichrist? Is Antichrist already here? There are two types of Antichrist. One's the Antichrist, which is going to come later. And there are many smaller Antichrists who are already here. And uh, Peter, John talked about these guys. Uh, some of them left, uh, came out from the church and begin to teach the heresies of, um, of the church. Uh, second, uh, first, first John 2. Um, that as you received, you know, the, uh, but you are, that dear children, this is the last hour. As you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But they're going to show that none of them belong to us. Anyone who does not um, confess that Jesus is Christ is Antichrist. Verse 22, who is a liar? It is whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a person is the Antichrist, deny the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father as well. Do you realize how many people or Christians have denied Christ? Deny that Jesus is Christ. Christ is the Greek word Christo means savior of the world. Anyone who has gone out to teach the church merely teach you good ethics have denied the divinity of Christ and therefore the salvation of Christ. It's an antichrist. That's the definition. The small antichrist, at least. The big ones come, this, they'll be covered in the book of Revelations. We'll talk about this sometime, someday. It is incredible that there's so many theologians and liberal churches have basically denied Jesus is the Christ. Christ means Messiah. Basically, they're teaching that Jesus does not save the world, but Jesus is a good guru teacher to us. That is blasphemous. That's, that's Antichrist. That's the very definition of Antichrist. That anyone who denies Jesus is Christ is Antichrist. Therefore, it is um, denying the Father and the Son. That they go hand in. This, these two go together hand in hand. There's no way that they can go separate, Father and the Son. And it is so important that we understand this. Without understanding this, we're going to miss the whole thing. Now, the reason I bring it up is people have the conjures the imagery of Antichrist, some really, really wicked, evil, you know, with, with the canine teeth jutting out and the, with the black, with the black coat, with the witch, witchcraft look and all this stuff, but they're not. They could be simply even some of your own family members. I'm serious. They could be the very ones that sit in your church with you. They could be the church you see down the street. You know. Because if they if they reject Jesus as Christ, all hell is break loose. Because the very foundation, very definition. Their fabric of Christianity is Jesus, is the crystal, is the Messiah, Christ. With that off, there is no more left. There is nothing left. You know, so that's what makes it the definition of Antichrist. People are supremely wrong and naive to think that. It is just a theological interpretation, you know. We can interpret this this way. There are so many interpretations. And guess what? Most people don't even know the theology sufficiently to, to join the discussion, the battlefield of interpretation of the, of the divinity of Christ. Okay? It takes somebody with a, 
MAOMD theology, like what I'm about to finish, MD, to be able to pull it out. I have to say that this, the discussion is highly intellectual. The way they spin it is incredible. They can spin it. They can pull everything that the new ones is the way they want to. It's, it's the Antichrist. And where have they come from? From the church. Folks, it is not a it is not a coincidence that is actually shown in there. Those guys are writing books, writing, giving talks, and defile the the entire sanctity and the holiness of the Son of God, of Christ. When that happens, you can imagine what's gonna happen. All right, this is Antichrist already here. That's why we know this is, this is the last hour. This is a liar. Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ is the liar. Whoa, you have seen a lot of liars in the, uh, in the society today, you know? So, so this, this is such an important thing. The last hour have come. The Antichrist has come. They manifest in so many ways, so many things. Undercut our teachings in the church. And the kids go to college. They suffer greatly. Because there's not enough sufficient grounding in theology. To face the onslaught of this liberal theology. Liberalism. They are all Antichrist. The entire enlightenment is antichrist based on this definition. Now my word is the word from the book of first John. It is it is astounding that when we call things as they really are, we'll be jerked out of the action, out of out of our slum and go into action. We'll be jolted into action. That's the word jolted. You know, because we thought that it is just a common market square discussion without knowing there's so much implication, so much destruction. It is called Antichrist. And it's called out by the Apostle John, inspired by the Holy Spirit in the book of First John. This is what we're talking about. Do not be fooled, saints, fellow believers in Christ we need to be aware and to see what's happening in our society today okay gender fluidity and abortion and the, and everything about what's going on and they even teach that to our kids in school this is defiling the entire sanctity of life the entire image of God Sexuality is defined and created by God. All right, so this is, if anybody denies Jesus is Christ, he's the Antichrist, that's it. And because of that, a lot of churches would have to be labeled as such. This sounds really serious, like, Sounds like really judgmental or what? Folks, don't use the word judgmental wrongly. This is not about being judgmental. This be, this is about exposing the darkness. All right? Judgmental is, is saying to condemn. We are saying to expose. They're both in the scripture. So make sure we understand that. Don't get fooled. The Antichrist, the small ones, at least are here. The big one is definitely coming, but our Christ will defeat them all. We will triumph. In Jesus' name, Amen.